Do you know how much science there is in the Bible? The Bible has so much proof of science. In fact, the Bible has led others to great scientific discoveries. Someone once said, my experience with science led me to God. They challenge science to prove the existence of God. But must we really light a candle to see the sun? So many times it's easy to ask questions, especially when it comes to the origin of man, species, creation. But we have so much evidence, especially in the Bible, after having studied this topic for a while and finding so many examples of science in the Bible. I chose three examples I would like to present today. Again, my source for this information was Ray Comfort's book, Scientific Facts in the Bible. Let's get started. Example number one, Earth's free float in space. Around 1500 BC, the Earth was believed to sit on a large animal or giant, and people still believe this. Today, it is called the geoterrapinism theory. Jasper Dankartz believed this. He got this theory from different cultures, including Native Americans, Chinese, and Indian, just to name a few. However, the Bible spoke of the Earth's free float in space. In Job 26.7, it says that the Earth hangs upon nothing. Scientists did not discover this until 1650. Example number two, lightning and sound. In the Bible, we read where God talks to Job. In Job 38.35, God asks Job, Can you send lightning that they may go and say to you, Here we are. And I quote, By this phrase, we can tell that light can be sent. And not only that, but that light manifests itself in speech. Did you know that all electromagnetic radiation, from radio waves to x-rays, travels at the speed of light? That is why we can have instantaneous wireless communication with someone on the other side of the earth. The fact that light can be sent and then manifest itself in speech was discovered by science 3,300 years later by James Kirk Maxwell. Example number three, the science of oceanography. The father of oceanography, Matthew Murray, noticed the phrase that is found in Psalms 8.8 concerning the paths of the sea. He said, and I quote, if God says there are paths of the sea, I'm going to find them. Later on, he discovered that the paths of the sea mentioned in Psalms 8.8 were the warm and cold continental currents. The examples listed below are just a few of the many examples of science in the Bible. So many times in history, many scientists thought they were right. But, they have, but if they had just gone back to the Bible, they could have found so many answers. Just like Matthew Murray did. Don't look elsewhere. The Bible is our guide. We will stand amazed at what we can find.